Uh, you know what? I am trying to put together a Twitch community to write a Twitch community book. Here I am right here. I took my hat off. I'm focusing on like, you know, how we made it look like we had fog machines right here. Um, we had the charger here for for them. Uh, we just had the car aiming at the truck, and we just made it put the fog right there. Uh, I'm I'm super focused when we're doing this. I'm very like this is my passion, so I'm like hardcore paying attention. Uh, here here I am, very uh, focused on what's going on. Very focused. Um, yeah. So yeah, my books are about thirty something pages for the first book. The second book's a little longer. Might have been forty five to sixty, and then it just, they just get longer, you know. Well, because once you start writing, you get like your story, and I'm like, yeah. And then the story just expands as you write, expands as you write. So now I have four books, well, three that are done, two being edited, one already on Amazon. But uh, that one I have to go back through edit because I guess I accidentally published the non edited version after I went back to read it. So I have to figure out which one's my edited version, take that one off and put the right one up on there. So it's not too hard of a process of just re-uploading it and having Amazon uh, approve it. I've been writing the book on on uh, Google, or sorry, on Amazon that I got is right here. It's called The Crystal of Destiny. It's about a prince and princess of Mars in search of this crystal of destiny. Uh, it's supposed to tell one's destiny so they're trying the space pirates are trying to capture it you know once they find it they attack them and try to capture them but of course uh their ai robot ship tries to protect them the older of the twins uh boba protects his sister jen and uh pretty much uh, the crystal forewarns of a greater danger to come and that's when you get a three book series or well it's four books total but three more after that um which is called The Eye of the Universe, then The Staff of Eternity, and then Last Evil Queen. These are all written. They're being uh, edited right now. And this one I'm still writing. So uh, I know CPR, so it'll be fine. Let me know if you need help. No, you just want my lips on your lips. Go away. I'm a virgin. And so here I am working as a background or um, crew. You know, we try to get the gold light, the sunset light hitting on them. Um, here's the party scene. Uh, these are main actresses. Paul Cervenka, great guy, good friend. Christina Ballestero, she's a singer, and she wanted to do some acting, so I gave this perk to her. Paris, this guy here, Paris Dillon, he uh, has been in Lifetime movies and stuff like that. Paul has been in Grey's Anatomy and a bunch of other projects and short films. This is Stephanie... Uh, Hernandez, she is now one of those um, Instagram uh, influencers. You know, she's got a bunch of followers. She does modeling and all that stuff. So that's where she went on from here. Uh, Jeff, that's Jeff. He does more editing and coloring now. This is a uh, man. I'm really bad. Kate, Kate, Caitlin. Uh, there's me right there with my bad posture. <laughs> uh, they were doing hair and makeup here. So this funny thing is, we were here. And we actually got kicked off uh, the set. We were here. I talked to them beforehand, and they're like, you know, you can do it until you get kicked out. And literally, as soon as we set up and got cameras rolling, they kicked us out almost immediately, which sucked. So then, luckily, we had a friend that brought up, said that we could use their house. Um, why is this picture blurry? Uh, they sent me these pictures, so some of them might be blurry. This was uh, 2019. This is uh, Taylor Paquel, my sister. Uh, she writes poetry, um, and she works as a school, um, like a teacher's assistant. Um, and there's a whole cast right here. This was uh, when we are filming at the boat. I think this is all day one. Some of my stories have uh, foreshadowing, so Redder has a lot of foreshadowing I use. I do like to do um, a lot of foreshadowing, but I do like doing flashbacks, but I love cliffhangers. In all my stories I write, there's always going to be a twist in it. 